Hi, my name is Ken Fink. I run Wondergy, and we've been putting together Sound Science Show with... Me, I'm Lucas, and uh, I'll be doing the Sound Science Show and going on the national tour with it. Wondergy is all about getting people to learn for fun, and that's been the case since we started over a decade ago with science birthday parties, and lately we've been doing a lot of exciting things about the science of what people care about. So the science of uh, how skateboarders do their tricks. And we've sent folks all over the country playing with the science behind an ollie. Uh, we play with the science of laser shows and how our eye works and how we can make beauty using science. And I'm super excited that the newest show we're putting together is all about the science of music and sound. So I'm really excited to be sending Lucas Kadar around the country with us to play with those vibrations. Yeah, we start the show by talking about how sound is vibrations, and then we do different things with them. We want to see how we can change vibrations. So you can imagine the simplest way you can change it is just vibrate more, bigger, and that'll make things louder and softer. Maybe we want to change how often things vibrate. That's frequency, so we can start to make different notes. Maybe we can even put that together and start to change how we change the notes, and now we start to make funny patterns and all sorts of really interesting sounds. And then you can put the whole thing together and we make awesome music. We'll be playing with how different instruments make different sounds. And we could start with some really normal instruments, like computers and taking sounds from the audience, but since we've really got this basic idea of how sounds happen, we can really turn anything into an instrument, even turkey basters. We want to see sounds big, like really big. And usually it's hard to see vibrations, but if we turn those push and pull vibrations into making a laser go up and down, we can see them huge. We can turn sound into a laser show. <laughs> sound travels by pushing and pulling on stuff. It could be anything, like the table or the keyboard. Usually it's air. But it could be anything, really, even fuel for fire. So we can see sound in fire by having it push around the flames. While we'll be exploring a lot of different ideas about sound, really, at the end, we're playing with the stuff we love, music. Yeah, and one of the really fun things we do is we just collect sounds from the audience. You know, we'll have them stomp in their seats or we have kids come up and say something. To demonstrate science concepts. And we take those and we make music out of it. And we'll probably end the show with that. He says probably because every show is completely different. Not just taking different sounds from the audiences, but really, in the end, what we do is take what your audiences give us and play with that. It's really very minds-on interactive learning. There's no script to anything Wondergy does, especially the sound show. I started Wondergy over a decade ago now when I was in graduate school uh, because people like to learn for fun. And the amazing response I've gotten from that has just totally proven what I've been believing all along. And it's not, hey, look at what we can do. It's all about you guys. It's all about what gets people excited. And that can be with kids, with teens, with adults. It really doesn't matter who. It's all about what they bring to the table and how we can support that. Somehow using the language of science is a great way to get people to explore, to engage in a hands-on, minds-on way that really gets people to empower themselves using the toys and the tools that we can bring out. It's not about delivering information. It's about questioning everything.